How you doing guys? Welcome back to 2FC aka 2 Footballs Combined. Another week, another loss. Another 1-0 loss at that. Another set piece, 1-0 loss at that. Another set piece, 1-0 loss in the 80, second or third minute. get to watch the whole game because I had things to do today so it's now four in the morning and I've just watched the highlights on Sky and same as last week we didn't fucking show up did we nothing much else to say <laughs> there really we didn't fucking show up again um, It wasn't for Wayne Owen goal and the fact that Spurs just couldn't get it on target. This game should have finished 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 nil. Maybe we might have got one goal. But that's, that's a big fucking if. Um, I don't know what the fuck they're doing in training but it ain't fucking passing and it ain't fucking defending that's for sure definitely ain't fucking shooting there's no point shooting because you can't even get up to our striker Connor Wickham in the whole half an hour highlights I've just watched probably touched the ball twice and one of them was in our own box defending brilliant exactly where you need your uh only striker. Um, like I said, I didn't watch the whole game, so I don't know how we played throughout. But obviously, the highlights are the highlights of the game. So I think, from what I saw, we we need to learn how to fucking pass a ball, um, and learn how to defend a ball. Absolute fucking joke. Again, piss poor performance. But if Spurs had their shooting boots on, like I said, this could have been a fucking demolition. And it should have been. We've got two games coming up. One on Tuesday against Blackpool in the Cup. And then Bournemouth next weekend. Both, we should win. We lose to Blackpool, who are now a League 2 side. My my hopes in Pardew are gone. Or they're going. If we then lose to Bournemouth, who I'm not taking anything away from Bournemouth, they're a fucking good squad. And Eddie Howe is an amazing manager. But if we lose the next two games, then... Uh, I'm not I'm not going to be back in Pardew anymore I don't want him out not yet because the season's only started but the last 17 Premier League games don't fucking lie it genuinely looks like a Welsh town's name the last 17 Premier League seasons, uh, Premier League games so since the 2nd of February as far as back as I actually want to go I don't want to go back any further it's loss draw loss loss draw loss loss draw win woo draw draw loss loss win woo loss 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 10 losses 5 draws and 2 fucking wins in 17 games in the premiership that's not good form really is it under yeah, he's a Palace boy, but under... Oh, I don't even know what to fucking say. That's pathetic. 17 games and we've won twice. I 
we have picked up 11 points. 11 points in 17 fucking games. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I, I just... I can't stop looking at it. It's fucking horrible to look at. Like, with that form, we carry on with that form, we're fucked. Absolutely fucked. Congrats to Spurs. But... Oh, fuck knows. Fingers crossed Benteke can uh, come in and help us out a little bit. As I said in the last video, even if I didn't fucking say it, I've been saying it to everyone since I've made the last video. Pardew's stuck in his own fucking ways. He needs to change the formation. He needs two up top. Just when Benteke comes in, 32 million or not, I actually don't give a fuck. I wish we'd have spent 50 million. If if he can score the goals, 50 million, I fucking, I don't care. 17 games and we've won twice. Better win on Tuesday. We lose to Blackpool on Tuesday. I am going to be a fucking raging mess. I won't be able to watch it on Tuesday I'm at work I'm going to try and get some highlights watch some highlights anyway but oh, seriously I can't stop look, look. That, that ain't right Fucking pathetic, Palace. Pull your fucking fingers out of your arseholes.